careful. The further in time you get, the more likely you are to become lost. Your life shall cease. High and low doesn't matter. This is the path. Welcome to the Loaded Dice Rollers, Season 3. Opportunity. I can see it in the waves. I can feel it in the dirt. I can smell it in the fog. When opportunity is lost, did it ever happen? Our story began with three young Pathfinder students training to one day be initiated. Today is that opportunity. Welcome a very special guest player, Peter Adkinson, who joins players Kurt, Mel, and Tom as they are guided by the Rules God and GM McLeods in tonight's episode. Find truth in the path. Wow, you guys. It's awesome. It just keeps getting awesome. better. <laughs> Peter's here. Wow. And, yeah, we have Peter Atkinson here. What's going on? God. The heck? We've, we, we've kidnapped him and forced him to play with us. Where am I? in a library. Where am I? The best place to be stuck. What, what is this? this? <laughs> yes. Don't worry. So, Peter, we beamed you in to our yeah. loaded dice rollers. Thank you so much. It's what what an honor. We just can't believe it. Oh, well, th thank you for having me. I, what, this is a blast. I, you know, <laughs> you've got to dress up and everything. Yes. <laughs> I just put on my gauntlet. That's that's as far as I went this episode. Great job. <laughs> so that was an awesome open, Peter. We have you know a great show in store. I think your character, anybody listening, is going to want to hear what the heck happens and see what these young Pathfinders go through with you on this. I just say, if you're listening, stay, you can't wait. I'm so excited for you. Stay tuned. Yeah, I'm, I'm skeptical of these young Pathfinders. <laughs> I, I am too at this point. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. And we should mention, you know, Leaving Richmond is still putting together a theme song for us. Oh, Jordan, get that over to us. At some point, we'll get that theme song. But And otherwise, we still consider him our music sponsor for our themes. So thank you, Leaving Richmond. You can find him on Spotify. Thank you to McLeod Ale for just having awesome beer and letting us play there. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Remember when we played there? Yeah. Remember when we played no. in the in the in the Lost Souls Tavern? Together. That was awesome. that was so cool. Yes. Peter would have Back to fly in. down for that. So Yeah. Don't dare me. I, I I've been known to do I've been known it's, to fly for a game. It's the coolest place wow. you can ever imagine to play D D. It's e so cool. Except for maybe yeah. where Peter's at right now. Oh, wow. yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool too. We'll flap and see we might you. fly up to you. I don't know. <laughs> oh, welcome. Yeah. And then we have to say thank you to Jay at Emerald Knights. Thank you, Jay. He, they sponsor our critical hits and so cool they give us free memberships to give out on the podcast anytime we want so if there's an awesome reviewer or something we just throw them a, a an annual membership and you get a discount and they have pathfinder play they've got dnd they've got it all amazing shot they may yeah. have warhammer they do peter do you play warhammer have you ever played uh not recently <clears throat> <So long. laughs> <laughs> Last night. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing I've never played. Magic the Gathering, of course. There yeah. you go, Peter. They have. Well, huge... I have played a little Magic the Gathering. <laughs> just, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I do have some pretty good cards. The deck, I bet you have the best yeah. cards, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't there a deck. There was some famous deck. Yeah, right? Peter you has have... it. Yes. It's called Peter's Deck. It's, yes. it's within one of those books in the background, just hidden. That's true. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah. You'll never guess where, though. Yeah. You know, <laughs> gotta be careful with that deck. We do have a rogue in our mix. That's <laughs> yeah. You have to use detect magic on that one. Yeah. yeah, right. Awesome. And thank you to Donna <laughs> Ritchie over at Kiki Tees for taking care of all those cats, having an awesome gaming place. We just, we love Kiki Tees. And we're going to skip the player's challenge because we have such a, it's, it's, this episode is packed full of just awesome role playing. If you want to know how to role play, this is the episode. Peter's going to lead that so 
we have a cold open to catch Peter up because he doesn't know what's going on. Actually, you may not know what's going on anyway because you weren't around these guys when this happened. So, And we'll get to that in a minute. So let's play this. What do you guys think? Should we roll the cold open? Let's roll it. Roll it. All right. roll it baby. I wish you roll could it. see this video. Roll so it. You guys are just going to have to watch the video at some point. <laughs> Last week on the Loaded Dice Rollers. The first one. Oh no! Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Everyone at the Pathfinder Lodge was killed. Arden, they were all dead. Except for a few. Anastasia saved my life. She she pulled me away. Was anyone left? Anyone? None that we saw. The only reason we survived is because we hid. Who found their way to the docks. You need to be on your guard. There's something milling about that's probably responsible for killing the entire lodge and my brother. It seems the mysterious murders were after them. We need to move. We can't stay here. They're hunting us, Mr. Arden. The next day, they found a ship to take them to Absalom. All right, bro, let's go ahead and talk to this Jack Sparrow kind of looking man. Blimey! They were leaving a week early for confirmation at the main Pathfinder Lodge in Absalom. Boys, roll up your sleeves. You'll be helping the captain with his cargo. But when they left, they didn't notice one member wasn't with them. Fucking hell! Off me! Get your hands off me! As you guys pull away, you see his his finger lift up to his beak and he goes, Shh. We have to go after her. The only place they're going is the Absalom. It's what Anastasia would want. But this ship was short on hands, and they had to do duties. I can always use a help with a cook. What about multiple cooks? Hi, ah, swab hands, uh, deck hands, yeah, of course. Some went well. I cooked it before I slaughtered? Or... Well, you, yeah, that should not... Natural 20. Okay, so oh, you are able to slaughter it, no problem. Yeah. Others, not so much. Vile and sweaty work. Cleaning Builds up water. Yeah. <laughs> I hope Builds. you've got good Builds glutes water. to go up and down those stairs over and over again with some buckets. I hope those uh, <laughs> muscles are going to work for you now. Work on the, glutes. the captain was brutal. You're not anywhere on the ship besides the captain's quarters. You better not go in there, and if I catch you, you'll have to deal with me. Star. <laughs> wow. Finally, they arrived in Absalom. It's like New York City on steroids. This week, Arden, the Pathfinder teenager's protector, has left them at the gates of Skyreach, the Pathfinder's global headquarters in Absalom, while he attends to his missing daughter. Remember, scribes, look alive, look around. We don't know what's after us and what isn't. God, I hate this bird. I really do. <laughs> Arden wishes you luck, hands you some paperwork, and forces you inside the main gates. You can get your ass running now, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and that is where we join this week's episode. Wow. Oh my god. Oh, that was great. Yeah, that was so good. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, just, what happened? Wow. I don't even know. Peter's like, what? What happened? They're on a boat. You know what? But here you guys are, and we'll just get right into it. You're at the Skyreach Lodge in Absalon. It's it's a, you know, it's been a fictional tale for you, and you've arrived, and you're like, wow, I can't believe it. Twelve stories of greatness. The probably maybe one of the largest structures you've ever seen, and Arden, in fact, opened up the the gates and literally threw you guys inside as the guard was talking, and he gave you a bunch of paperwork. And the guard says, no visitors allowed. Here's our paperwork. Uh, we're, we're supposed to be, we're supposed to meet with the elder today. Let me, let me see this. Aiden, can you believe this? We're here. It's it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look at this place. Oh, uh, it? Uh, it's cold. Okay. I know where you're going. Okay. Hey, please take him to Zygmunt's quarters. Thank you, sir. And he'd lead you to... A structure that's not in Skykeep, but kind of right next to it. It's still a very nice structure, by the way. It has, it's fully outfitted with turrets and everything, so it looks like it's defendable itself. And inside, you have a very special, what your paperwork says, person that can actually get you guys through your initiations. Luna, don't, don't, don't do anything crazy, okay? Just be normal. Can you imagine all the dis- different kinds of stuff that are around? I mean, look at it's so shiny over there. I wonder how much it would cost. The guard opens up the door and lets you in. And in front of you is Sigmund. And in his chairs left and right are... One is hunched over a little bit. He's got a, a slight growth on his back. And the other one seems to be very proper. 
So the, the hunch one is probably the one that's got the hunch, yeah. And Zygmunt, I have a hunch about him. Zygmunt is very busy with his documents. He didn't? He's very busy with his documents. You feel almost rude coming in. What? What? what the, the, oh. Oh. <laughs> who, who, who are you? What, what are you doing here? We, we have papers. We're from the Narrows in Opara. We're, we've been sent here for, you know, we're almost 16, so we're here for our confirmation. Oh, yes. Ah, yes, yes. I, I, I almost forgot. Today is Wednesday. Yes, you're here for the Flower Festival Committee, right? That, yes. Um, let's get, uh, let's get started. Um, no. Uh, no. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Grandmaster, yeah. the uh, but, Flower but, Flower Festival is not for another month. Yeah, I know. That's why, that's why we have to do the planning now. Uh, this is the planning, the planning committee. Please come in. Have a seat. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, welcome, welcome. Yes. Uh, uh, yes. What, What's the first order of business? What the fine young people we have here. Well, the flowers, of course. What the so good what, with um, the flowers. What, what are you have? We, we we're planning on the the roses and the uh, gardenias and you had uh, said tulips. The, the, the tulips. What about yes. the daisies? Yes, and daisies, of course. We need all the all the flowers, <laughs> all the flowers. Guys, I don't think I don't think we're supposed to be here about flowers. I, I look so. over and wink. Okay, okay, I'll just. Kirk call gets it a in. star. <laughs> <laughs> Grandmaster Zygmunt, I think they're here for a confirmation, but I, <laughs> they must not be serious. They're just teenagers. <laughs> they are well, very they, young. Help with the flowers. The conf- confirmation? They know oh. the process is at least three years. Oh, the confirmation. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. No, <laughs> I, I'm not ready. To, uh, we, we are not ready for a confirmation today. No. Uh-uh. no. We, you, you don't look ready to me. Uh, this requires uh, tasks, quests. Uh, you have to prove yourself worthy yes. uh, to be in the flower festival. I mean, to be the confirmation. Elder, we've, we've come very far, Elder. We've, we've come from the Narrows, and uh, we've been training for many, many years to be here today. We're, we're super excited to be in front of you and, and honored to be in front of you. He has uh, good hands for, for lilies. No, okay, okay. Well, if you if it's what you say, then you must have brought your stories, your of, of your homes. Yes, uh, yes, we have them. We have them. You have? Yeah, we have them. We each we each, we each went on a mission in Opara for 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 Pathfinder. Well, why didn't you tell me so? They have their stories, <laughs> of course. Yes. Well, then, uh, then bring them forward so we can put them in the Hall of Records. Headmaster Zygmunt, what part hmm? of Opara are they from? Yeah, what part of a part of you? Where, where from are you the, from? We're from the Narrows. We're it's we're part of the Narrows. Um, oh. uh, Master Harsting oh. is yeah, was, was was yeah. our father. Was our father good with flowers? That explains the tulips. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Who is your master? Um, we what, um. What is this, Warden? Warden, what is what I'm is this? Sorry, I'll be back. I'll get you. What new. is this? I said I wanted a dry wrestling. Sorry, <laughs> I'll be back, and he hobbles off. Ex- excuse, excuse me, sir. Um, yeah. our our father. It's uh, Grandmaster. Newton. Grandmaster uh, Newt, our uh, father Newton Harsting, um, was. was well, oh, we can be informal here. Just call me mine hair. Mine hair. Um, our, I like our, him already. Our father was killed just before we we left. There was an attack on the uh, the entire house, and everyone there was killed. But us, we we just escaped and came here, and we're told that this is oh. some somehow important. Oh, that is that is that is not good. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry to hear that. It's a very sad tale indeed. Uh, uh, Here's your uh, drink, uh, Zygmunt. Okay. Here, please. I'm sorry. Yeah. I replaced it with the same stuff that was in there. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, well, um, but I hope, I, as you can see, it's difficult to find good help around here. So maybe uh, maybe this will be a, uh, maybe this is good. So, yeah, let uh, us tell okay. our stories. Where yes. We have yes, very please. interesting stories yes. to tell you. Grandmaster, should these be for the records in the hall for confirmation? Yes. Yeah. I'm yeah, recording these. these. Yes, these are for the records in the hall. No matter how much training you have or initiate receives, they never attain full agent status without their confirmation. An iconic confirmation is an individual quest or discovery. And while the majority of confirmations are solo endeavors, it's increasingly common to receive help from other pathfinders. 
And you have gained that health through mass, help through Master Newton. And actually in your paperwork, it says that you're ready for confirmation from his training, which Absalon may foo-foo, but it seems that Zygmunt is totally cool with He's totally cool with it. And, and so he, he's requested a couple of tests. And the first one is to tell your stories that you've covered. And yes. yeah. Yeah. so you get to pick which one's first. Pick which one's first, Zygmunt. Uh, uh, let's go let's go with uh, Luna here Luna tell me oh yeah let's go with your right. story try yeah. not to steal anything too thanks you know I'll do my best so I was sent on a mission there's been an issue that was near the the port militia I was sent to observe the missing members I had to travel the port the past few nights that where I was going I passed by multiple little areas, passed by a Bardic College as well. Uh, me and actually Ren walked by uh, a few times as I was going in during my mission. He was stopping by the Bardic College. But I've been going to the docks over the past few nights, observing the trades and the ships in and out of the harbor. As I traveled to the port the past few nights, noticed that there's been a consistent congregations surrounding the brothels and bars of a very specific group of privateers. They've been meeting more consistently, specifically near the Red Rum Tavern in secret. As I've gotten close to their plans, they've seemed to, uh, the past week, have about two of these close-knit groups of people going missing. Oh. I suspect that their men have been being attacked by a rivalry gra- uh, gang of mercenaries that have been hanging near the northern end of the docks. Just last hmm. night, I was in the southern eastern end of the dock where I was wa- following one of the gang members that was heading over to the tavern. And all of a sudden I hear this huge splooshing noise. It kind of scared me, honestly. So I head into the shadows near a nearest box. I waited for a few minutes and I heard a light yelp and then some silence. So obviously, since we can't really do anything, I jumped out to kind of go and see and observe what was going on. And they, he, he was missing. He never made it off the dock and just disappeared. Uh I followed the past few nights, wasn't able to find anything, but the other, right before we left, I followed two men to the northern part of the docks toward the rival gang area. It seemed like they were going to, you know, maybe get in a scuffle because they could have been jumping each other's men. As I go into the shadows and I hide following these two men, I hear that same splashing noise. And it's almost the sound of a giant anchor coming out, getting pulled out from a ship. And... I see this large amphibian looking person. I I, I haven't had that much experience, but it looked almost like half man, half fish. And all of a sudden I see it attack this man, one of the men's on the way up to the dock, almost in some sort of frenzy, it seems like. And and what did you do to help? I see, I hear a lot of hiding, a lot of listening. I don't know much about the helping. Well, that's the thing. We're pathfinders. We're not supposed to really interact. We're here to record. I wasn't good at that movie. Uh, no one is. No <laughs> one is. Mm. Yeah. As the, the, the amphibian looking man slashed into the first man, the other buccaneer seemed like he pulled out a gun so fast and took a shot, almost like pulling a needle through a thread immediately into his chest and killed him. I saw the creature kind of fall to the ground, his head twitched a little bit, his leg, and then he went limp. And that then I kind of saw that the man that got attacked take something like a potion, seemed like a healing potion to me. And they pretty much got up and recognized that maybe it wasn't the gangs attacking each other, but it was actually this amphibian thing that was attacking the men near the docks at night so i haven't followed up ever since that but that was one of the biggest things that i think they also recognized too is really recognizing there wasn't a rival gang yeah are you getting this borden are you getting this yes grandmaster z uh, zigman i I feel like i've heard this story before Uh, this is we've seen so many of you come through here and have you ever had any witnesses with you during this journey on the way to the docks is one of the Bardic Colleges, which is where me and Ren would go and walk by. So he was actually one of the ones that kind of helped me come to the realization to go ahead and follow the men, which was great. Um, so, I mean, I didn't have any accomplices watch me, but that not that the whole point? To be sneaky and recording? Uh, yeah. 
Oh. I mean, that's the best way to do it, right? See, Fräulein has a good point, I think, yes. Grandmaster mm-hmm. Zygmunt, this is yeah. this is an example of a report. It comes yeah. with sketches and details. This is one of mine that you failed me out of the confirmation for oh. a few <laughs> years back. And I, I just, I like her story. I, Oh, I think it's very good. Yeah, I think it's a good story. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and when somebody tells you a story for them, you should believe it from the first instance until proven otherwise, right? Mm-hmm. You're right. You're right, Grandmaster. Yeah, very You're good. Well, do you have any extra questions outside of you know what I already presented to you? So, so I have to up your uh, yeah. Yeah. Did, yeah. <laughs> no. Ten. No question. If not, that's fine. I don't know. This is the first time I've been doing this before. So, I mean, if you don't have any more questions, I'll go ahead and let someone else go. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Just, I, that's, that's, that, that's good. That's good. I, I that you, you get good a job, star. Man. Good you job. Get a star. Good. Good. Oh, good. Thanks. That's, yeah, that's good. That was good. Good story. Um, <laughs> you want me to go get you some more Riesling? Again, she didn't uh, have any yeah. drawings. Yeah. Like now, the, you show and you show promise, Luna. The details yeah. I had that you failed me for. I had all these. That's okay. Drawing. Oh, uh, I see the drink. There, there were other reasons involved. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to since Ren was mentioned in uh, Luna's story. Ren, why don't you go first? Next, mm. second, second. Go first is already. Fixed. Okay, Grandmaster. Thank. Thank you, and and it's it's such an honor to be here. Yes, uh, I'm a little nervous, uh, but it, it's such an honor. Do to you be have here. drawings you. with your you story? You got this. Thanks, Luna. Thanks. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, I, I I do. Is your uh, story half as long as Luna's, please? Uh, <laughs> probably, maybe longer. But let me give you some context. <laughs> Grandmaster, if I may, yeah, yeah, uh, Master yeah, yeah. Newton was a, a very accomplished teacher for us, and he really wanted us to learn about music and, and art and, and and culture. And so I used to. Is or, this or, the Master Newton that's related to Auden? Yeah, uh, it failed is, Pathfinder. Sir. It is. It it is. It, it he was the clan leader for us. The house did Oh, I remember well, that we, case. We respect Newton, but uh, it, Master Newton, but uh, his brother has some issues. Master Newton this has part passed. Part of the story, or have you gotten the story? What? Our master, he, he is no longer with us. I have uh, much respect for Master Newton. I knew him before you were born, so. He kicked me twice. Hmm. Well, He's a good man. Want to. That <laughs> good sounds man. like That sounds yeah. like what he would do, and, and thank you, Grand Master, for that. That brings me... It brightens my heart a little bit. It's been a tough few days, as you can imagine, for all of us. So the Grandmaster wanted to hear your story. Yes, yes. So Master Newton teaching us about culture and showing us books and... and Is that the story, culture and books? Let the, let the man speak. Let, let him speak. Let the, let the, okay. Okay. I'm nervous. I'm, I'm having I'm, a lot I'm, of difficulty. I'm very sorry. Started. I'm very nervous. It's, it's yeah, yeah. the first time I've ever. So if everybody else could just be quiet for a moment and let Rin get started. Rin, silence, everyone. Thank you, Go. Grandmaster. Thank you. Go. So I, I, as you know, in your great wisdom, Opara has two amazing schools for bards, a, a larger one and, and one called the Rapposodic in Westport, which is a, it's a very small school. I used to go there and watch the bards as they practiced. Through that, I actually made some really great friends with some amazing performers. About a year ago, we all heard word that there was this disturbance down at the school. Uh, smoke would appear in, in the middle of a room out of nowhere. Oh, and, I think we're good, good. I think we're and, getting somewhere. They're yeah, getting Finally. And malicious and, and 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 crazy giggles and and laughter would come out of the smoke as it as it would consume a room and take over practices and take over performances it, it got so bad that they called the clerics in to bless the school to no avail it, it, it kept on happening and, and the professors ultimately shut everything down well the students were disheartened because that's their life, as you know, just as it is for us Pathfinders to be here in front of you. They came to me one day and 
one is known as Hazel and, and, and one is Tieflin. And they wanted to know if we could help as Pathfinders, if we could document. And I told them that's all we could do, but they needed, you know, I, I couldn't bring this to Master Newton because they had no money. And uh, we were very much on a, I guess you could call it a budget as well, and could only take on certain quests where we were watching and documenting. So I decided that I wanted to help them anyways. I told them that I would sneak out after hours one night and I would meet them at the school and we devised a plan to break in. We had two other bards that met us and, and we got into one of the, the practice rooms and they all brought their instruments. And what I did was I told them that maybe because the occurrence always happened when there was a performance or something that was going on, that if they played, I could climb up and, and find a hiding space in the raptors and document, and, and maybe we could figure out what this was. So that's that's that was the plan, and that's, that's kind of what we did. I, I used the skills that I learned from Master Arden, who taught me how to fight and, and how to survive, and I climbed to the very top of the room and, and hid in the rafters as as my friends played this wonderful music. He's very skilled. I think this is longer than Luna's. And definitely. But out of the blue, in an instant, all of a sudden, the smoke, it appeared again and it grew. And there was this crazy laughter and and and, <laughs> and giggling out of the smoke. My my friends all dropped their their instruments and they ran out and i was there in the rafters grandmaster i i was scared and i well, what the was I, it i well <laughs> after i caught my composure i collected my thoughts and and i told myself i'm a pathfinder and i am here to document <laughs> don't fall asleep zigman he's I still talking started, i started to <laughs> I started to document and 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 write and and, and draw and and as I did that, the 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 smoke it it started to like a whirlwind. It was crazy, and before I knew it, it was this tiny little winged creature that kind of looked like smoke, and it landed on the floor, and it was really funny. It, it waddled around as it knocked through the instruments. As quickly as it came, it disappeared. So I waited a few minutes and, and I carefully climbed down the rafter and I ran home. I was thinking Master Newton was gonna be very mad at me. But when I told him about it and showed him the pictures and told him what I did for my friends in the community <laughs> and, and the college. Well, I, I can imagine his reaction. Yeah. He, he, was, he was proud. A few weeks later, they actually found out that I guess it was some mischievous smoke method or method. Oh, we call them abyssal farts here. Yeah. And you have said that 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Love that. Oh. Okay. okay. This is a short well, version. And also, I, Ren. I think you did great, Ren. I don't know what they teach, <laughs> you know, para, but you're not a pathfinder until you're confirmed. I you're in the headquarters of oh, okay, the Pathfinder okay, okay. Society. Grandmaster Zingman, uh, please step in. This is embarrassing. I mean, no respect. I... No, it, it's okay. I will say, Luna's story was much better. Uh, there was... There was... Is it pirate, shorter? Luna's was, always better than me. There was splashing. Shorter the better. There was gunfire and buccaneers yes. and more splashing. Uh, buccaneers. Uh, yeah, but the... Uh, you've got a smoke method. Okay. Uh, that, uh, that, I think you will need further testing. Uh, you probably all need further testing, but you definitely, you most well, definitely. You, I just want to jump in. He was the yeah. one that helped me with my realization. So, I mean, I can't. But, I, but he I, didn't document okay. it. It wasn't part of his story, right? That's true. I mean, that would have been. That would have been the best part of the story if he'd have talked about his involvement in your story. <laughs> Ren, uh, I think uh, I'll tell you what, I I'll make a deal with you. You need to modify your story a little bit, perhaps maybe even embellish a little bit. Get Luna to help you and, and definitely include the part with the pirates and the buccaneers and shooting. Yeah. Throw, that, throw that into your story 
and uh, revise it and bring it back. Um, I'll have my board and listen to it next time. Oh, and, no, um, not again. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, yeah. you know what is a cool story? You, Aiden's. It, Oh yeah. Okay. Well, we'll get to that. I'm I'm, I'm still lecturing here. Uh, oh, <laughs> so I mean, lectures getting really boring. Let yeah. the grandmaster Number speak. Hey, Please. Luna, you're my good graces. So be careful. Luna, you're getting Don't in lose trouble. That. No? No. Okay. All right. I know I can. I would leave. I would probably proud. tone down some of the esoterica in the story. Stories are about action. You know, this happened and this happened and the drama. Not the the boring stuff. Leave that part out next time. All right, Aiden, let's uh, let's let us hear your story. My name is Aiden Harsing. I'm son of Newton Harsing, citizen of Taldor and resident of Opara. I was commissioned to to perform this investigation by my father Newton and also Senator Isaac Adaban of the Opara Senate. Oh. Um, bec- because yeah, he's a good man. They've been having reports of assaults and attacks in in the area near the Seven Towers at night, and they, you know, everyone is complaining that they think it's undead. Oh, and, you see, your story is already good. Wait, attacks, undead. This. Yes, yeah. yes, mm. yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. So yeah. at night, but it was only yeah. happening. It was only happening at night, and it wasn't all the time. And and some of the stories seemed rather convenient. So the Senate, because of the concerns, wanted to investigate. So he got permission because. I do some couriering for him and he he knows me for me to go into the catacombs underneath the seven towers because the seven towers was uh, originally an old aslanti settlement and they shut off those catacombs for safety purposes but the lion's guard let me in you know for a week at night and they wouldn't come in with me they they would laugh at me when i was going in actually they were kind of they were actually kind of rude but i would go in there with my familiar and we would I would give him dark vision and we would go through and and map the catacombs. And what we saw was mostly there were just rats and, you know, different scavengers and things like that. But there was a silence in there. And every once in a while you would hear what you thought maybe was something moving or laughter or something. And as I would send the lights down to see it, it would disappear. Mm. And it was at least four days of just mapping. And it wasn't mapping. the smoke method, was it? No, it Certainly. wasn't a smoke method. Good one, Grand yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One. So on the fourth day, we got kind of deep and we got to this place where it was very, very dark. And so I, I shared senses with my familiar and I, I started hearing a humming. It was a vibration that made me sick to my stomach the way you feel when you're standing on the top of a tall building. And so I sent him down this this hallway at the end there was a, it had collapsed and as he goes around the corner you could see a, a distant blue glow from one of the stones underneath the rubble and the stone itself was different it was it was finished it was it was shaped it was smooth and it was glowing a little bit blue and kind of pulsing and you know, that was all that was there you couldn't see anything there and and he kept going and as you rounded the corner, there was a chasm that had collapsed and the stairs down were, un, you couldn't go down them. But I sent him down and watched what he saw. And I think what was magical darkness because I couldn't see into it and it started feeling very cold. Anytime we heard something and I would send him in the direction of what we would hear, it would be quiet and it would go away. Um, but I couldn't send him down any farther safely. So I had to bring him back up and we kept exploring for the rest of the week, but we couldn't find anything else. So that was all that we found. We didn't find any undead, but there was this weird, and the vib- when the vibration stopped, I felt okay, but it never happened again. And I'm not sure what that is, but I think, you know, I, I've studied the star stone and I know that there's something with the Islanti and I just think there's something connected there that's still active and we don't really know. But I went back to the Aslanti Senate and told them, and they released the report saying there were no undead, but they didn't say anything about what I found with the the glowing vibrating stone or, or the, the feelings that I had. And that's it. I mean, I don't have a monster Very to tell you, but that's- story. Yeah. Very it's, it's good. A, the story. The story starts off very good. Yes. Yeah, it starts, <laughs> starts off very good with catacombs no and undead. Mm-hmm. And no. name dropping of important people. Yes. Uh, this is also, this is good. But uh, the the ending needs some work. Uh, I would say I would say the ending needs a little bit of work. But um, I, I I would say Act One and 
half of Acts 2 are good, but um, <laughs> you need to work on the ending just a little bit. But pretty good, pretty good. All definitely right, I, I agree. I agree with those. Definitely better than Ren's story, but not quite as good <laughs> yes. as Ren's story. Yeah. No well, flowers you're right. in any story. No flowers. No, mm. no, no, That's there's shit. no flowers. Well, we're getting to that, I'm sure. <laughs> My story that he failed me for has pictures, drawings. And, no, those are great pictures. And words, but... Well, may, maybe is it time for another test? Maybe we could go to a drawing test. Oh, if they're going to do that... I'm going to drawing. <laughs> they should get a pen and paper yeah, real great. quick. Is it oh, time no. for that? I have a sure. convenient pen well, and then, paper near me. And I have a handout that I'm giving, sharing with players right now. Are we getting it through Astral? Yes. It, yes. No, Astral has it. All right. How do I get it? Zygmunt, you you remember this character. He he came in here demanding things. I know. You wanted to hire him. I did. <laughs> That's because his sword was shiny. Yeah. I'm not yeah. that smart though. You're the you're the brains. What what do you want? More money. When you start flattering, when you start to flatter me, I know you're up to something. <laughs> I know. It's... Isn't that the best way to know that they're up to something? I just don't want to be hit anymore. Grandmaster Zygmunt, please be more harsh on these young lads here. They, they, need, they need to know the truth. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to Are we to supposed to copy it? Constructive <laughs> criticism. What, what are we supposed to do? If we're going to strengthen the Pathfinder Society, we need better members and yes. we can't let everyone in. But you have to, you have to lead with both the Iron Fist and the Velvet Glove. Oh, that's smart. You're right, Grandmaster Zygmunt. I, I, I apologize. Right. I apologize. What are we supposed to do? Would, do you want us to draw this, or do you want us to draw something we saw? No, no, no. Draw, 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 draw this. this. Draw this wretched draw this. creature. Yeah, draw this wretched creature. Let's give them, what, five minutes? Oh, yeah, that sounds good. Maybe three. Yeah, three. Okay, I'm timing it right now. I don't like this row. <laughs> I, you don't like Gordon, this row? Okay. Gordon, yeah. I, I don't <laughs> like this robe anymore, okay? Make a note. I'm not a different robe. I had told you that, but you insisted, so I just said, okay. It, it's coming undone. You like the orange one, I know. It's shoddy, it's shoddy workmanship. I'm not quite the seamstress that your normal tailor is. That's okay. Someday we will figure out what you are good at. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. yeah, people, everyone is good at something. In the meantime, I wish to submit my, for confirmation, again, my story has pictures and also okay. words describing a murder scene. Well, that sounds good. Let's... I know we've refuted it. Well, well, by now, maybe it's good. Investigating Murder Hotel. That's Eyes on Absalom. I think this is a yeah. chronicle yeah. worthy. Yeah. I told you that was the best part. Yeah, so, at the time. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. A day, a day at the zoo go, gone terribly wrong, too. That's a good one. Yeah. It's, yeah. Mm. He's got his leg is in an alligator. <laughs> you see it? That's a terrible day at the zoo. Mm. Uh, that's, that is a, that, that is not, not a good day. No, no. He's there. Anyway, the other ward never puts together anything, but you approved him. I just, I, I would like to be recon. Um, the other warden. Give it up, Hunch. The next one. Didn't you like the kobolds with the hostage situation? They came in. I Africa. love the kobolds with the hostage situation. It's such a good story. Good. Yeah, no, it's a good story element. It has yet to be a story. It's, yeah. Uh, just tell them time's up. Yeah, yeah. Time's up? I think it's been plenty of time. Mm hmm. So yeah. Ren seems to be yeah. done first. Let's see his. Uh... <laughs> That's pretty hard, Tom. Mm -hmm. You got to put it in front of you. So the, uh, uh, maybe. Wow, yeah, I, it's so dark. I don't know. Mm. Oh, mm. there you go. Oh, ah. Yeah, he looks yeah. treacherous. Ran. I think he's smiling though. This pirate's not. Well, he's kind of snarling, I guess. Is that a pig? I love. Yeah. He's got flowers on him. Flowers. Perfect. Perfect. Ren, you're doing much better. You, you, you got with the theme. Thank you, Grandmaster. Thank you. Yes. That means a lot. Drawing the picture we showed him. You, very good. Very good. That's an yeah, excellent drawing. Good flowers. Thank you, Grandmaster. The hair. That's excellent. Well done. Bravo. 
Grandmaster Zygmunt, should I bring your glasses? Uh, no. Okay. He's much better without them. Uh, okay. No, no, I don't think that, I don't need the glasses. I told you, I don't need glasses. I see just fine. I'm, you're right, Grandmaster. Who should we have next? Yeah, see, he's got the spectacle. See? Oh, yes. Oh. Okay. Ah, who would, yeah, who would you, you like to see next? The one with the raven? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, talking paper, huh? Okay, yeah, let's see the raven. Is this uh, Aiden's? Oh, there wow, you. he's really good. Ah, oh, that's, mm. that's just good. That's and I, I, put, oh. I put some flowers around the outside. Flowers, mm. very good, very good. Maybe butterflies. Uh, yeah, uh, but uh, those uh, azaleas? Yeah, yeah. daisies. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, close. Oh, and, and did you sign it? Yeah. Um, uh, I didn't, but I, I can. Like you did. Should I always, always got to uh, sign. I do. I'll sign a fine piece of art, Aiden. Assume you will be famous someday. That's the way the signature will help the value of the Yeah, that's very good. How, who else should we see? Mine? Well, is Luna? Luna have yours ready mm. yet? Did mine again? No, no. Who? <laughs> that's good. Oh, too. Luna. Holy smokes. What the heck? Really? <laughs> Yes. Wow. You should sign that one immediately. Oh, that's it's awesome, a, Luna. I hate bears. <laughs> <laughs> you are an artist, Luna. Wow. I can what tell. Could that, what, what, what is this supposed to be? If I quite think it out. Grandmaster Z, I, I, I believe she drew a nice painting. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah. It looks like a frog. Is it better if I do this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Good. Flower. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There. Much better. <laughs> Much better. Much better. Much better. Wunderbar. Wunderbar, Luna. Wunderbar. Yeah. yeah. Wunderbar. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. These are good. We should, uh, Borden, you should frame these and put them. All three, Master Zygmunt? Ah, yes. Ah, uh, mm. yeah. Especially Ren. I like Ren's the best. Oh. Put it, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Grandmaster. That means so much to me. Oh, yeah, no problem. I just tell it like I see it. You know, Ren was the first one that showed his painting, right? <laughs> yeah. Ren, oh, okay. Yeah. He's yeah. been practicing. You should have seen him a couple of years ago. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I, I like Ren's work very much. It's uh, it's sort of a, it's a very a nouveau hassle. Very. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very yeah. Rothko. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I tried to bring out the oh, essence of the pirate. Well, I could see it right away. Yeah, thank you, Grandmaster. <laughs> Let's get a good shot of all three of those pictures. Can you guys uh, get them up there? <laughs> this is uh, all right. Uh, that's pretty good. Oh my God, you guys are good. I don't know. If, even Tom's is like. I mean, that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> pretty good. All right. So, are we ready for another test? We uh, should probably wait for Jonathan for the next test. That's right. Oh, we yeah. have just uh, uh, concluded right. the first episode. Okay. <laughs> This is cool. Wow. With Peter Atkinson. This is episode three of season three, which is amazing. Yes. Yay! Yeah, we've been doing it that long. Thanks for staying tuned. That was amazing. How did you... Were you guys pressured? Because nobody knew what was going to happen. I had no idea that we were going to draw. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> I've taken, I've taken <laughs> like, freehand uh, sketch drawing before with charcoal and whatever. So, yeah. Seriously? I had, Man. I had to step up. I've, by the way, I'm like my monitor's way over there, and I couldn't see the drawings at all. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's why Tom's won. Tom's won. Thank God, Peter. Thank oh, you. That's hilarious. <laughs> I, I just figured I, 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 I tore ran up so bad on the story. I better make his art. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. So that's funny. You know, God bless you. Thank you. Yeah. I'll give you a big no hug. Idea what they are. Yeah, it was, <laughs> he just knew there was flowers. And he loved it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Uh, I, I, I drew this out. And it, it's so awesome. But he just, he, Grandmaster. Oh, did you just, draw that? Yeah, Grandmaster like just keeps too, saying, yeah. no, it's not good enough. It's not, yeah, it's yeah. not good enough. Sorry. But it's awesome. Hey. Yeah. He's got a taste. Yeah. That was that was really it's cool. Smart. That was very. I yeah. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't <laughs> expecting that at all. And uh, I, like, I oh. loved all you guys' stories. Some ran on for a little long, but you know that's all good. That's what it's about. It's they're all different flavors. Hey, shout out. When you're 15 years great. old, you you tend to ramble a little bit. So well, I like you know, panic, like both called and emailed Kurt and yeah. Um, and it's, like, it was it was definitely help. an advantage to go third. By <laughs> the way, yeah. Yeah. 
Nice job. You guys. They're all great. No, for sure. It's all just about the well, listen, banter back and forth. If, if you stay tuned this far, you're definitely going to stay tuned for the next week's episode because Peter is back again with us, uh, putting these yes. guys through the test, getting yes. them confirmed as Pathfinders. It's so important. And it seems that you guys from the Narrows have a very special journey in the Pathfinder rankings. And as a matter of fact, I wanted to tell you while you're outside, Kurt, you'll like this one. You actually saw uh, your venture cap captain. Now, the venture oh, really? captains are pretty serious. The one from Taldor. There's only one, by the way. Uh, Sheila uh, Hydemarch. You saw her walking around the grounds. So that she's in town. She probably knows what happened to your, your small lodge on the Narrows. And maybe uh, an important thing for the future. So I just wanted to tell you guys that. Great job, everybody. And we'll... Mel, what are we doing? We're doing edited and, and what? We're we doing still... it edited and a while ago and <laughs> like and subscribe. I'm still oh, doing it live. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm still doing, doing it live. live. I'm still doing it live. We have to do it live. You're doing it live. You're listening it to it, not live. But subscribe, <laughs> and like. Give us a review. Yes. Darn it. Comment below. With the Grandmaster. Man, no doubt. Smash that subscribe, rate, review, follow, and like. Thanks. We appreciate that.